When I first started cybersecurity, someone told me to learn Linux, but I had no idea what that meant and they didn't say why. So I did what every beginner does. I went on Google, searched on Reddit, and then I ended up installing VirtualBox and installing Linux, instantly thinking that was going to make me a black hat hacker. The terminal would open up and it would just do its magic. But boy, was I wrong. It was overwhelming at first, and I had to realize that the shortcut wasn't to memorize commands, but it was simply just to master the fundamentals like I preach in every other video. I'm not here to hype up Linux like a fan or whatever, but almost everything you use runs on Linux. Instagram, Netflix, YouTube, Android phones, your car, everything for the most part runs on Linux, except people that want to be aspiring tech people. Cybersecurity without Linux is kind of impossible, especially if you're wanting to be a pen tester or ethical hacker or even red teamer and sometimes even blue teamers because most of cybersecurity tools are pre-built within Linux. So if you want to do anything in a technical standpoint of cybersecurity, you're going to touch Linux at some point. So hacking tools, forensic tools, if you want to be a system administrator, whatever the case may be, if you want to do it, why not learn it? As a beginning, when you open up the terminal, you might panic. I know I did. But here's the thing. The command line is the one place where you have complete control of everything. You type a command the correct way, the machine listens most of the time. But it's it's kind of wild the power that you get from actually having that power in Linux. You can curate it in the way you want to curate it. You can customize it in the way you want to customize it customize it and there's really no other operating system to my knowledge or kernel that works like Linux. Windows, no. Mac, no. So again, why not learn it? Linux shows you exactly how your operating system works so you can understand how files are structured, how networks communicate, how permissions work, how processes start and die, and how your services run. Also, how logs reveal everything. You're literally able to see every single thing in your system if you know how to look for it. That is mind-boggling to me. Linux doesn't make you better in tech. It honestly reverses your brain and makes you think like an engineer. Creative. Create alter, modify, like Linux is really that real deal. Like, and the best part of Linux is it is free. Back in the 1990s, a student named Linus wanted to create a free alternative to expensive Unix systems. So he created something called Linux and he wanted to be able to personally invite people to contribute, collaborate, and make this something that was really available for everybody, curated in a way that everybody wanted it to be. So he made it open source and that created the world of open source technology, software, and code. So fast forward to today, Linux is almost on almost every server, the cloud, supercomputers, Androids, and nearly every cybersecurity hacking tool. And it has a lot of freedom. Again, collaboration and transparency baked into your operating system. But seriously, the best thing to do if you're just getting into Linux or want to get into Linux is to find you a distro like Ubuntu, Linux Mint, even Kali Linux, and get anything that's easy to handle on it, allowing you to learn at your own pace. So you explore it, you break it, you fix it, and you do it all over again for free. The goal is simple. Learn how to navigate through Linux, learn the fundamentals, and learn at your own pace. Don't stress about getting too advanced until you understand the fundamentals. If you're serious about getting into tech, maybe IT as a system administrator, even as an IT support analyst, or anything related to tech, I personally recommend learning Linux. I think I gave you a pretty good reason on why you should learn Linux. Not because it's trendy, not because hackers use it, but because foundation is everything. And to be able to customize and curate something to that extent and that level is amazing. It's also free. Why not? And one day you'll look back at your old self and say, dang, I was the one afraid of pseudo, but now I'm rude. You'll understand it, you'll command it, and you will be root.